So are you guys planning your 2021 garden? If you are, and you're thinking about food security, and you're wondering what you could preserve easily, well, maybe I should preface this with, first off guys, welcome. You're at that 1870s homestead. We are in Michigan, so not sure that this applies everywhere in every region, but for us, I have a recommendation for you. If you're going to grow produce, say you can't get a hold of canning jars, you want the most secure item to preserve. I can't recommend sweet potatoes enough. So I was just down in my pantry doing a midwinter cleanup the other day. And I showed you guys for the very first time, I still have potatoes from basically two and a half years ago now. And you know what else we should do? We should do an experiment eating a two-year-old sweet potato. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Hard as a rock, still firm as can be. And we're gonna taste test this today. I'm going to clean this up. We're gonna bake it. I'm going to cut into it for dinner time and I'm going to let you guys know how well though does a two-year-old sweet potato taste because I'll be honest I often reach for last year's sweet potatoes over these I shouldn't do that but I do but I'm blown away at how well these preserve and I can't think of another produce item that preserves like these do. So let me go wash it up. I'll bring you guys back when it's time to cut into this thing. And I'd love to hear your advice or knowledge on any other item as food security goes, like a sweet potato. Butternut squash might be up there, but this is pretty remarkable. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I left you on. So I just washed them up. Nice and clean. I'm just gonna put them in a, some foil and then stick them in the oven. Ooh, feels good. Let's see what it looks like. Looks like the sweet potato. Smells like a sweet potato. And everyone said, Rachel, because it is a sweet potato. Look at that! Two years old! And it looks beautiful. Wow. And let that cool, and then we'll have a little bite. Okay, it's time. You know what, I wonder if it lost a little bit of its sweetness. Maybe a tiny bit, but it's still really, really good. Like a perfectly good sweet potato. It's just not that like immediate wow factor like you get from a fresh sweet potato maybe. I'll eat this thing, no problem. Mm. But I'm going to tell you guys something. So if the fact that you can store this vegetable for two years isn't enough to convince you why you need to be growing sweet potatoes in your garden this year and grow a lot of them, here's five more reasons why you should just consider eating a sweet potato every day. If you love them like I do, I could eat them every single day. So number one, Regardless of dietary restrictions, gluten-free, lactose intolerant, can eat nuts, uh, vegetarian, paleo, you can eat sweet potatoes. So they're a great nutritional source regardless of your dietary restrictions. But let's get to the facts. Vitamin A, it's like a miracle vegetable. 769% of your daily dose of vitamin A found in one of these things. Did you know that? Fiber, 
a quarter of your daily recommended fiber intake, but it's the good fiber. It's insoluble fiber, which means your blood sugar won't spike and you'll have a much easier time staying full by consuming it. It's not gonna trick your brain and make it start thinking it's hungry. Here's a fun one, manganese. Do you guys know what manganese is? It's got half the daily amount of manganese that you need. And manganese, ladies, men, it produces that hormone that your body needs for whoopee. Mm -hmm. So if things go wrong and you can only have one vegetable, I think this is a good one to have on hand. Potassium. Sweet potatoes contain more potassium than bananas. You need though that potassium for proper muscle function. It also is a key factor for brain function. It reduces anxiety and stress levels. And magnesium. Sweet potatoes are full of magnesium, which is great for fertility, curing migraines, producing collagen. Your body needs it for that. Um, it also, magnesium is needed for your body to be able to absorb other vitamins. So that's, let's call it six facts why you should grow sweet potatoes. Nothing else is gonna store like a sweet potato for you. I'm telling you what, not your cabbage, not your pumpkins, not your squashes. Maybe a butternut squash, but I don't think a butternut squash can help in all those other areas. So that's why we are growing tons of sweet potatoes. Thanks guys, that was a fun experiment and I'm glad to be able to share it with you.